still there? It's June, the serial hobbyist girl here, and can you guess what video I'm filming today? If you guessed a home tour of the furniture apartment, then you are right. This was my highest requested video. I never thought when I uploaded that on furnished apartment tour that it would be so popular and uh, I have been putting it off because I've had things that I wanted to do. I wanted to hang some paintings, some art, some pictures, but you know, that's taking longer than I anticipated and there's just no time like the present. I won't go too much into detail about the architecture or the features of the apartment itself because I did that pretty thoroughly in the MD apartment video tour which I'm going to link somewhere in this video but uh, let's get started coming in through the door the first thing that we see to the left is a bathroom and it is a standard bathroom it is a, a little smaller than normal like I said last time because well it is New York City but this is what the bathroom looks like we haven't done any kind of decorations or anything um, but uh, we have that. We have a little kid, so we need a stool for him to brush his teeth. And we keep our toothbrushes and everything in this little Ikea um, planter. And that's me, hello. Uh, just, you know, standard soap. There's the heater back there where we keep a scale. And to the left of the bathroom and straight ahead when you come into the door is the kitchen and it's looking a little blue in this light but this is what we have done with it that cart is a um i think it's meant for fruits um and and vegetables it is also from ikea everything here is from ikea so with the little cubbies on the sides of the counters i decided to put things that are useful as well as pretty that up there is a clay pot uh, roaster. Uh, it's, that's a timer. That's a uh, coffee grinder. Some little Lucrece bean pots. The larger Lucrece bean pot. And just pots and pans over there. And, you know, just standard kitchen things plates, cups, mugs bacon trays and so on. I love this one, it's from Kate Spade. This is from my university where I have my undergraduate degree. And I love that mug up there too. I love mugs. I have to say that I do love mugs. Uh, let's see. This is the other side of the counter where we keep things that I use for cooking every day, oil, salt, um, just utensils. That is a leftover wine from cooking dinner last night. I embroidered this towel on my sewing machine. And here we keep more uh, cooking things, very light. Uh, not a whole lot of stuff. We, we did quite a bit of purging when we moved here. And what's in here? I can't recall because I barely use it. Okay, so things like cooking sauces and vanilla those are some little um, ceramic like we say you know little ramekin things just standard stuff that you would find in a kitchen to the other side uh okay so i'm very short so i need a stool to get to the top shelves and we have the little pumpkin that actually came free with a grocery order some pears these two guys were a gift from my father a few years ago and I haven't gotten around to hanging those and a little spare Ikea planter there's a toaster I like to keep my my mixer out that's uh, flour and sugar and the active cookbook selection in the kettle because we need a kettle this is what we call the pantry it is absolutely jammed with stuff um, and uh, we used to have a pretty big pantry in the house as you can imagine it's a house but this is where we keep our stuff 
we're making do. That up there is a very small collection of um, cake serving platters that I kept. I had a, a larger collection, but I didn't think that we would have enough space for everything. So we just um, donated a lot of them. You know, all the things like, uh, that's uh, aprons there, um, some tubs, some plates, that's cookie cutters, and just random things that we need to put away somewhere. Let's see, oh, cereal, Tupperware, other odds and ends. Um, down here, I keep appliances, uh, just a slow cooker, a, a little hand mixer blender thingy, uh, that sort of stuff. Here is the cleaning supplies, and also it is the only cabinet that is tall enough to accommodate my blender, which is pretty tall. So the light comes and goes, so sometimes it's bright, sometimes it's shady. And uh, yeah, just uh, more baking sheets, baking pans, that sort of stuff. Uh, and here we keep the other pots and pans. So these are old clawed copper core. And I'm not gonna open the drawers because they're a disaster zone, but basically here we keep um, uh, spoons and forks and, and you know serving, not serving more, but utensils, eating utensils. And the rest of the drawers are for cooking utensils. And the refrigerator. Up there, we just keep paper towels and um, other things that we need, but then don't necessarily have to have easily accessible. The refrigerator, dishwasher, which I said last time I love. So that is the kitchen. Now we are going to move on to, let me, let me think. We're gonna go to the kids' bedroom, which is immediately to the right of the kitchen. So that box is actually a TV that we haven't figured out what to do with it. And uh, it's just hanging out there for the moment. So um, th uh, those cabinets are basically toys and some bedding um, because the kit is, has a lot of toys. This closet is the one that my husband end up, ended up keeping for himself. I'm not gonna open it because that's his privacy. We keep a little, this is my son's cape. I made that for him and a little responsibility chart because kids need structure, although we have not actually used it. And on this side, we bought this from a website. I think it's called Mom, Where's My Car? Where you can keep all your Hot Wheels instead of having them just tumbling around and doing nothing. And the kid has a loft bed so he has his desk down here and then his little bed is up there uh there's bookshelves there where we keep well, books and and board games and the like there's a tub of lego right under the desk which is perfect for him to put his feet Let's see desk oh we're keeping those um those bottles for a project he's working on uh his little bean bag laundry basket we need to find somewhere to hang those hooks for him to hang things we haven't done that yes yet and this is the other side of the um bookshelves and his closet so he does actually have a closet it's just attached to his bed and a piggy bank and things like that um let's see if you can see from here it is a very nice um sized room uh, and uh, so far we've managed to put everything away that we need to put away and we are going to move on to the dining and living area so when you exit the kids room and that's the front door right there immediately in front of you will be the dining room and uh, sometimes I have flowers in that uh, vase but for the most part it's usually empty because the table is so small we needed to eat that vase is usually up on a shelf but i decided to bring it down for this because that's where i really wanted it to go 
and over here that my husband made that those are individual glass tiles I should say mirror tiles so these are mirror these are painted he did that all on his own and I can only imagine all the man hours that went into that so um, the IKEA table and chairs are very small like I said but they're actually very functional and this is the kind that you could make smaller if you wanted to by moving that down the chairs in the way but basically you can expand it or you can make it small up what you need and when you fold the leaves down it's just the little square and up ahead so this we've had for I want to say about nine years probably more than that we brought that with us from the UK to Florida from Florida to here and I don't think you can buy it anymore but it is great so I'm gonna open this in the top I have fabric uh, that I've been so busy that I haven't had a chance to use but that's where I keep some of my fabric not all but some I have fabric in other places too and then you have a drawer here where we keep all kinds of crazy things uh, batteries some spare hardware steak knives you know things like that and then the bottom is the booze cabinet <laughs> we are not actually big drinkers but we do have some drinks some alcohol um, that we use sometimes my favorite is Chambord. I love that stuff. Alrighty, so the living room and the dining room are one big, um, big uh, room. <laughs> and this is what it looks like from this angle. I love antique maps and I love trunks, so I absolutely love that. They were not part of a set. I bought them each individually, but they do look like they belong together. The bottom one slightly lesser than the other ones, but I am okay with that. So um, the couch I we bought at Crate and Barrel, and the cushions from IKEA, and this one I think is from Bed Bath and Beyond, but I'm not sure. And the bookcase in the back is definitely from IKEA. I just keep uh, you know, here is uh, some school books and some pictures and my husband books and there's more books behind the couch you can't see and up there is a it's not a painting but just some piece of wall art that I bought uh, I think at Marshall's a few years ago and uh, th that uh, mask I bought when I went to Venice uh, probably like 12 years ago 12 13 years ago and these maracas are from our wedding they were very cheap. I think they were like from Oriental Trading Company and uh, we have always kept them. I, I'm not sure why. That um, I think is Anubis. It's a souvenir from when I went to Egypt. That was a wedding present for my husband's uncle. And uh, this is a, uh, a film camera. It's called, well, people call it the brick, but it is a Russian camera and that one is my husband's uh, camera it is a twin lens camera Ooh, creaky floor and just books and books and this is a phone dock and immediately opposite of the couch is a TV and the air conditioning we haven't taken down we haven't decided what we're gonna do up there but I think it, it does need something and this is the entrance to the bedroom so you come through and you open like the pocket doors and here is a bedroom bed like i said from ikea these are drawers and there's two on the other side with a headboard we don't have side tables nightstands <clears throat> because we don't have a whole lot of room for them and um, this is one of my favorite things 
it is a um, decoration so it is a dress form that is meant for decoration and I bought that at Joann's and I just have it loaded with necklaces that don't fit in drawers which I will show you in a little bit and I love it there's little cubbies there um, those two frames top and the bottom are looked like the same and the one in the middle was a gift from someone who bought it in India and I haven't actually found any pictures to put in this one which is square and for this one I do have one in mind but I have to to get it printed and that's me as a little girl <laughs> and this is um, I used to have this in my sewing room but I don't have anywhere to put it so I like it there I like this um, it's actually full of odds and ends that I put in my bags when I switched them out. And let's see, that is my husband's desk. He has stuff up there, you know, we kind of sort of live here. Um, this side, that is my makeup uh, vanity. And I keep just, well, one has makeup and the other one has hair things and other odds and ends. This is my bookshelf. All of that. Both of those bookshelves, except for the very top, are full of cookbooks. And uh, yes, I have a cookbook problem in that I don't have enough space for all my cookbooks. The boxes on top are um, cardboard boxes. They're pattern boxes and they contain vintage patterns. And uh, let me see. Oh, so um, I showed this in another video, uh, one of my vlogs. There's a full length mirror that we finally put up, I want to say about, uh, I don't know, about a week ago or so. And uh, it's uh, finally, I can finally see myself. I couldn't see myself before, let's see. So I am wearing just socks. <laughs> and uh, this is, uh, so I, I ended up keeping both closets in this room because they're very small. So at the very top are things that, uh, for both of us, I think that we don't use um, on a regular basis. Like right now, it just has summer shoes. And this closet is just uh, shelves. There's nothing to hang. So here I have shoes. And uh, shoes and shoe care, leather care things. And the other closet, and I'm gonna open it you know, hesitantly because I don't know what's in there. It's um, where I keep my clothes. So that's just basically a mess of backpacks. We keep the iron there. And we have two tiers of clothing because we bought this adapter thingy that actually hooks on to the top rail and it, and it doubles up your space. Otherwise it is a very tall space for, for you know, short things. I don't wear a lot of dresses and uh, the ones that I do wear um, are in the back. So here is where the attachment ends. And so I can keep my coats and things in there. And we also do keep the ironing board stuffed in there. And up there we have other plastic tubs full of things we don't use on a regular basis or that we don't need to have easily accessible. Uh, so let's move on this way. So this is one of my favorite areas in the apartment because this is where I get to put on makeup. Uh, I'm not um, obsessed with makeup or anything, but it is nice to have somewhere to put everything. And this is from Ikea too. And it is a smaller version of the one that I have over on the table. And this I bought at the local farmer's market. It's just dry lavender. This was, um, it's just perfume in there, but it was a Christmas gift last year. And that was a gift from a friend. And let's see, so here are my brushes. This is my beauty blender and some perfume. And I like this vanity, which is also from Ikea, because it has a lot of compartments. I don't necessarily need the mirror, but it's nice to have. And, you know, give some gum there some necklaces, some earrings, and that sort of stuff. And then here, I keep some baby wipes, um, just cotton swabs and a couple of makeup thingies. And um, for 
my jewelry all of my jewelry is really costume jewelry uh, I lined the first two draw the first two drawers with like that um, non-slip um, uh, mat that you put sometimes underneath carpets sometimes underneath utensils to stop them from moving and so they don't move and I have that in the first two drawers here like I said this is all costume jewelry this is as cheap as cheap can get then in the third drawer I have nail polish and some face creams and things like that and then the other ones are just you know makeup and more makeup what's this one uh, more makeup Oh, this one's empty which just has my brush shampoo this one's also empty here are my hair tools and some perfumes and some ottenons and what's in here um it's just just ottenons is what i keep most of these are empty that is some knitting and that's about it and so so to the other side is my husband's desk and his chair and I'm not gonna open that because it is a disaster and a laundry basket you know we are sort of human and we live here and we need our clothes washed so that's where they go until they do and the door through my um, office we did decide to I mean as you can probably see uh, we did decide to make this room our bedroom and then leave the dining room and living room on the other side and then the kit on the far room but then my office is through here and you come in this way and i keep a, a jacket on my chair because i get very very cold but it's kind of cramped in here so i'm going to see how i can actually film this so this is my desktop computer um that does not really close because the tower pushes this out too much but that's a printer that we are um trying to um give away to someone because we no longer need it uh, that's my olympus camera and let's see that's my desk that's my sewing machine that's the book i'm currently reading for school i keep thread back there that's a print that i haven't gotten framed and uh, some thread and here i keep patterns down there and behind the patterns you can't see it but there's magazines and more books and this are bags so the the top two uh, cubes are full of bags as is that and that uh it's gonna be a little tricky but basically this is where i keep um a lot of my junk that i don't have room for that up there is a box for my sewing machine which i do need to keep and this box uh that is me a long time ago with a shoe designer named Giuseppe Zanotti. One time I just sort of, I walked into Saks and he was just there signing shoes. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. So these are more cookbooks, as you can see. Cookbooks, uh, this is some travel books, more cookbooks, more cookbooks. And now these are history books. And that's history books and food history books and all that sort of good stuff. And to the other side, is the printer so that's the printer we actually use we replaced the black one with this one and here i keep my sewing stuff which i haven't actually done any sewing in a long time basically since i've been here pretty much i did a mock-up for something but then i ended up not doing anything else with it fabric and more fabric uh, these boxes are also patterns and that's sewing stuff there my sewing hem and the seam uh, roll and yeah, so um, when I face the other way that is um, a camera I usually use um, like when I'm filming a sit-down video I'm probably sitting in my chair facing this window and so that's my camera there and uh, that box is the embroidery unit for the sewing machine Let's see. and uh, it's my laptop and just ottoman some roll of paper that I use for tracing patterns 
And that is my office. And that is the tour of the apartment. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, when I first uploaded that other video, I never imagined that it would be so popular and that so many people would watch it and that so many people would want to watch the furnished version. I am not an interior decorator. Everything that you see here, I have done basically out of need and it's very utilitarian. And while I do like how it's turned out, it's not, uh, you know, it's not gonna be on the, on the pages of, good home or architectural digest or anything of the sort but at any rate thanks for watching and um i hope that you subscribe if you like my videos and like this video if you like it and as always i will see you next time and thanks for watching